A uh, decision four months in the making exonerated two Minneapolis police officers today and renewed a public outcry for change in the justice system. Here's a live look at the scene where Jamar Clark died in November. You can see at least 100 people are gathered there. Their focus earlier tonight, the Hennepin County Government Center. They marched to voice frustration, anger, and sadness over a decision made in that building just hours earlier. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman announced that he will not charge officers Justin Schwartze and Mark Ringenberg in the death of 24-year-old Jamar Clark. We start with the detailed evidence that Freeman laid out in his press conference this morning. Uh, it is the first time that we have seen the struggle that led to Clark's death. On the left side of the screen, you can see Officer Ringenberg take Clark to the ground. He ends up on top of him, later saying he felt Clark trying to grab his gun. Freeman said forensic evidence makes it clear Clark was not handcuffed when police shot him. However, some witnesses say he was handcuffed. Liz Collin begins our team coverage with the video evidence that drove Freeman's decision. Good morning. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman stepped to the podium to detail the moments Josh fired. Officer needs help. that took over a North Minneapolis street in November. We have a great deal of important information to share and I ask for your patience and cooperation. Jamar Clark attended a party with his girlfriend. When witnesses say the two got into a physical fight, 911 is called. Paramedics put his girlfriend on a stretcher and into the back of an ambulance. They lock the doors and wait for police, worried about the way Clark is acting. <laughs> Officer Mark Riggenberg and Dustin Schwarzy arrive on scene. Within 61 seconds, it's over. Police say Clark wouldn't show his hands, so Riggenberg tries to handcuff him, but they end up in a struggle on the ground. On the left side of the screen, you can see Officer Riggenberg kicking his legs. Freeman says it's when Clark is grabbing for his gun. Riggenberg felt his gun go from his right hip to the small of his back and told Schwartzy, he's got my gun. Both officers said they told Clark to drop it. Riggenberg heard Clark say, quote, I'm ready to die, end quote. Schwarzy fires a single shot into Clark's head. He's taken away in a second ambulance and dies the next day. Evidence shows Clark's DNA on Riggenberg's belt and gun grip, and no evidence of handcuffs ever being around Clark's wrists. No bruising or forensics of the sort is found at the scene. Officer Riggenberg lets out a sigh as he sits in the back of a squad when another officer asks him a question. You right now? Yeah, I'm good. These officers did not have the opportunity to withdraw or to negotiate. But once the decision not to charge came, the tone in the room changed. All you did was push the information that you got as witnesses from the officers who were the ones who victimized and ultimately murdered Jamar. Marking the end of remarks intended to answer questions and clear the air. Sorry, I gotta go.